rugby was introduced to Sarawak in the early 1950s during the era when Sarawak was a British colony. Under the influence of the British rule, the uniform units and mission schools like St. Thomas's and St. Joseph's were among the pioneers in playing this game. With the relatively large number of British and Australian expatriates working in Sarawak, soon the game took off and the Sarawak Rugby Union was formed in 1953. This was followed by the founding of Kuching Rugby Football Club in 1959. The game has come a long way since then with lots of ups and downs along the way. In the early days, the expatriates were the ones to take the lead in playing and promoting the game. And it was mainly due to them that the game flourished. Soon, local players like Kuda Dita, John Jangun, Albert Kedit, Jerome Goh, Ramzai Jitam, Saleh Wahab and many others began to play the game. Arguably, the glory days of Sarawak rugby was in the 1960s and 70s when the game involved many expatriates and there were many tournaments held including the Borneo Cup which involved Sabah and Brunei. One local player who had first-hand experience in the game during the glorious days is Lawrence Tan. When he started to learn the game, he was just a teenager with a height of 1.63 meters, weighing 68 kilograms and wearing glasses. So how did he even think of playing this game dominated by tall and burly men? In the 60s, uh, I lived at the KMC flat there, which is next to the Songhai High ground itself. In those days, in the 60s, confrontation time, we have a lot of British Army. Every week they come down and play games. So we, that time I was small. So just go and watch them playing like, and then this, you know, this, this, this uh, British soldiers, uh, they, they give you sweets, they give you tidbits and all sorts of things, uh, you know. Sometimes they give you drink also. Uh, so we just go there and watch, see the game and enjoy and sometimes get something free. Uh. In 1968, uh, when I study, I got into Kuching Vocational School. And surprisingly, my instructor is a rugby player. So one day, he was saying, uh, he's going to form a school team. And who is interested? I said, I'm interested. Hey, you're so small. But I said, hey, I know how the game was played. Because mm -hmm. I live there, I see these people playing all the time. Oh, so she said, okay, in that case, okay. So I joined the school team to start learning. Then the, they say, okay, the best thing is also you go down Songheng High every every Thursday because uh, previously Thursday is the training training time, you know, every Thursday training, Saturday game. For well, first three months, they won't allow me to take play in the game, you know. So I just help them, la, running the line, become linesman, la, so le start learning the law, like what to do, how to do rock, how to do a mall, how to do everything. 1970, we beat vocation school, beat St. Joseph. For the first time, St. Joseph lost mm. the championship <laughs> and the brother were all so furious, you know, and then that's why brother Mark, brother Columba, brother Hysin, brother Henry, uh, all suddenly all the brothers are becoming so good to me, you know, <laughs> because they say, no, how you how get your team to, to play so well? Uh? And in 1972, Queen Elizabeth visited Kuching, so I was this is the first time I represent the state already. I played in a state team. Play against a team from the Royal York, the Britannia. They have they, they have two or three teams inside there. So we, we play against them. We lost lah. What was the score? Huh? What was the, the score? The score was no, very surprisingly very narrow. So what position were you playing? I was playing scrum half. Mm. In 73, we went to, 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 to Miri. We play and we won the cup. Mm. Again, in, in, playing with the sh Shell uh, people, team. Uh, we won the, the Jinkana Cup. Mm. You know, people were very surprised. Those days, we, we, have, we are also lucky. We have a few international referees working mm. in Kuching. You see? 
so, expatriates or locals? Expatriates. expatriates. So one New, one New Zealander and two, two, two British. New, New Zealander is this John Peck. John Peck. John Peck. Then the Chris Girl. Chris Girl was North Borneo trading last time, MVT. Frank Company also see, say, oh, if we are living, if all the, who is going to carry on? Mm. So, so this Frank Company said, okay, it's better to who, ask around who is interested to take up refereeing, you know, mm. we, we need to train, train local to, to, so I volunteer lah. Mm. 79, I, 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 I pass my practical. Mm. 1980, I passed my theory, so I become a national referee. As I said, I played for the state in 72 mm. against uh, the Britannia team. Mm. Then I went, we went to Bru uh, Miri and Brunei to play in the Baram Cup. And I was the team manager for Sarawak in the Borneo Cup in 1972 in KK. I was a Sarawak team manager mm. for Borneo Cup. Last time we used to have Borneo Cup played between Sabah, Sarawak and Brunei. And I was also the, the manager for Sukma in 1987 or 1980. What? Mm. Can't we went to Kuala Pila. I was a team manager but I was also a player. Uh. There were local people to join the committee. But of course, like, you need to know English, you see, so I was chosen in a way to say, encourage, I always encourage, Frank, Frank got me, always encourage me to, you know, to do something different, like you say, like. I started as a treasurer in 1981, you know, to 88, eight years, then a big gap, I stopped, mm. until 2017, I come back, until today, I'm the tre still the treasurer, we are up and down uh, in the union, uh, but the... I, I've been working very closely with him since 2017 uh, mm. and we are running well, the union is running well uh, in the early 70s. Early 70s. In the early 70s. Why? Because all those players, we we have very good uh, group, good club. We have helicopter pilot, we have engineers, all sorts of engineers, we have businessmen, we have lawyers. We had commissioner of police playing. Mm. Mm. Ramsey Jitam was playing. Clive Howell, okay, he's he's superintendent of police. Then we have from the armed forces. Armed forces in those days in the in, in the mid 70s I play with Colonel Wong, Wong Hengji, Pat, uh, that time Captain uh, Patrick uh, Tommy Pereira. Mm. He is now the president of Cobra. I lost all my front teeth. <laughs> I have cut here, yeah, one stretch. And I have a lot of wood, internal wound. <laughs> but still alive and kicking. But still alive and kicking. <laughs> Today, besides rugby, Lawrence is also an authority in the photovoltaic industry. He was recently appointed the president of the Malaysian Photovoltaic Industry Association, Sarawak Chapter. He is also a well-known figure in Philately, famous for his Mexicats. <laughs>